Based on their scores in the preliminary interview, swimsuit and long gown competition, 15 contenders have emerged on the top of the list. Now, aside from them, one more candidate will join the top 15. Now, this candidate has garnered the highest number of votes in the voting page conducted by Lazada, the official e-commerce partner of Miss Universe Philippines. So from October 15th to the 22nd, our delegates received almost uh, 300,000 votes um, of over 2 million votes total. So that person is the person I will be announcing right now and she will join the top 15. This means I will be calling out 16 names who will move on to the next round. I will call on our delegates by batch and reveal who among them have made it to our top 16. But let's first begin with our first batch of delegates who are on stage right now. I will announce Lazada's top vote getter who will receive 100,000 pesos worth of Lazada wallet credits, which she can use to shop for Lazada's upcoming 1111 sale, which happens on November 11th. Plus another 100,000 pesos cash for her chosen charity. And uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and announce that right now. The Lazada top vote getter happens to belong to our first batch of contenders who I mentioned earlier, who is on stage right now. 300,000 votes of over 2 million votes altogether. She is none other than Miss Biliran Skelly Ivy Florida. And her chosen charity is the Learners with Special Education Needs of the Dep Ed Division of Biliran. Congratulations, Miss Skelly. You are now automatically into the top 16. List of our top 15, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of Sisip Gores and Valayo Company, our official tabulators. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right? That's what we got to do. We remain very, very safe here, yes? All right. From the first batch of candidates, aside from Miss Biliran, three women have made it into our top 16. Here we go. Starting with Miss Albay Paula Ortega. Next up, we have Miss Bohol Pauline Amalinx. And the last one from this batch, Miss Aklan, Cristel Abelio. All right, moving on to our second batch of empowered contenders. From this batch, we have five. Five from this batch, all right? And here we go with our first contender from this batch from Ilo Ilo City. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up we have from Cebu City, Tracy Marine Perez. And next, from Davao City, Eliza Malinao. our fourth contender for this group. From Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson.
Congratulations. Also in the top 16 from Cebu Province, April Smith. All right, moving on to our third batch of candidates. And remember, this is in no particular order. This is as random as it comes. All right, so for this batch, we actually have two contenders. From batch three, joining the top 16, we have Miss Masamis Oriental. <laughs> Caroline Joy Veranilia. Also making it into the top 16 from Mandawe, Lou Dominique Pixon. All right, we have our final batch of delegates. And from this group, we will get five to finish off our top 16. Let's welcome to the top 16 from Taguig. Sandra Lemonon. Congratulations, we are now down to our last four. Also joining her in the top 16. From Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Here we go to our final three to round off our top 16. From Romblon, Marie Faye Taharan. All right, here we go to our final two of our top 16. Here we go. From Pasig, Rihanna Agatha Pangindian. All right, we are now down to our final contender to make it into the top 16. Let me just say that to all of our contenders, to all of the beautiful women that joined so far, you have all been phenomenal and amazing. So let's find out who already will make it into the top 16 and have a chance at winning that crown. Are you ready? To the 57 people here. <laughs> all right, here we go, rounding it to the top 16. From Paranaque, Maria Isabella Ismael. Congratulations. So from over a thousand who auditioned to the official delegates who have made it all the way here, we are now down to our top 16. So congratulations, ladies, for making it this far. One of you will be crowned Miss Universe Philippines, but you have to go through some more challenges. It would not be that easy, all right? We have more things for you guys to do to make it to the finish line, and that first test will happen in a second. We will test your public speaking ability in expressing your thoughts and winning our hearts, all within 30 seconds. Ready or not, that's coming up next. We'll be right back. <laughs> 